What is up everybody? Welcome to my eight month update on how to grow a real beard. Hopefully you've seen my four month journey. If you did not see that video, I'll be linking it below, but it pretty much shows me using minoxidil, the stuff I struggled with, but I kept going and check out how my beard looks now. As you can see, I'm super excited, I'm pumped, I'm happy. I definitely recommend using 5% Minoxidil if you're trying to grow your beard. Beard gang in the building, beard gang in the building. I have a lot of skeptical people that watch my four month journey and they said, oh, all you had to do is grow this beard out some more and then it'll fill in. But this is a picture of me two years ago before I did Minoxidil, before I even did YouTube. That's why it's not a video, it's a picture. And that's how it looked before I started using Minoxidil. It's nasty, it's patchy, it did not look right. This is what a beard is supposed to look like and you can see the Minoxidil is doing its thing. This is me three weeks ago and it is full. I just had a number one and a half trim all on my beard and you can see how full it is and it's shorter. So it's just a picture but you guys can see what it looked like before I started growing it out like this. I did have a funny comment that I wanted to share on my other video. I'm gonna put it right here. Somebody said that my mustache looked like the Pizza Hut logo and I thought that was pretty funny. I was actually laughing when I read that. Uh, this is not sponsored by Pizza Hut, but Pizza Hut if you're watching, I'll let your boy, you know, give me a gift card or some pizzas or something. When you guys start your Minoxidil journey, I want you guys to get into a routine. After every shower in the morning, the first thing I do is put the Minoxidil on. I have it right next to the sink so I don't forget. And then at night, after I brush my teeth, I throw the Minoxidil on. I have it right here. I'm not forgetting. If you start forgetting, then you forget every night. And then you forget another night. And then you're not using it twice a day like you're supposed to. So please get into a routine. I have a lot of younger viewers that are watching this. They're 16. They're asking should they use Minoxidil. Please do not. Wait till you're at least 21. You're still developing. Your hair could come out naturally. So there's no point in using Minoxidil and kind of messing everything up. So please wait until you're 21. Another question I get a lot is can you shave while using Minoxidil? Yes, you can shave. The thing is when you shave, you're shaving those baby hairs. So you don't see the stubble really when it's growing out. So you start second guessing yourself. You start thinking, hey, is it really growing out? But then you start growing it out some more and then you could see the baby hair coming out. So people are on the fence about should I shave or should I not? It's actually a little bit better if you shave because see all this hair that I have to work with? The minoxidil is supposed to go on your skin. So all this hair is kind of blocking. So I need to use more minoxidil than I should just so it could get all the way down to the skin. I want to talk about something I was doing wrong. I used to shave right where my chin line was. Now I'm giving about an inch or so under. I'm cleaning this area up and just this little space right here and makes your beard look a lot fuller. So if that's what you're going for, make sure you're not shaving your whole neck area. You know, give it about an inch or so. I wanted to clarify a little bit something from my four month journey video and I just want to let everybody know I was already thinning on the top of my head. It's not like I had a full set of hair on the top. It was crazy already thin and then when I used the Minoxidil it got even thinner. So at a certain point, it stopped that speedy growth it was going at. So it's at a standstill, like I said in the other video, but it pretty much stopped and now it's slowly going back to its natural self. So I already mentioned something I do is put hair fiber on. So this is what my hair looks like before the fiber. And this is what it looks like with the fiber on. One big thing that I noticed on my face were my eyebrows, they got crazy. This is what they look like before I started Minoxidil. This is what they look like at the four month mark. And now they're just barely starting to recuperate. I think they look all right now. Um, I could lose a little bit more hair on the eyebrows, but for the most part, they are all the way grown back in. For those that made it all the way to the end of my other video, I said I was going to use it only for 8 months and then cut cold turkey, but I am not going to do that anymore. 
I'm gonna use minoxidil for a year and a half, then I'm gonna stop. Because if I stop right now, all the baby hairs that I have that are not fully grown, they're just gonna evaporate. And I do not want to go through the whole thing again where I'm losing my hair and I'm putting minoxidil on. So I'm just going to keep continue using it for a year and a half and then I'm going to stop and I'll let you guys know how it goes once I stop after that year and a half. I want to take a second to tell you guys about the beard products that I've been using and I love them. I used to use this pretty cheap product from Walmart. It's right here and I don't want to bash them but the thing is like the beard oil was very cheap. I was putting it on and I kind of looked like the greasy, having taken a shower in a couple weeks look. But now I'm using Shea Moisturizer and that's what makes my beard look nice and healthy. I have it on right now. So if you guys like it, I'm going to link it down below. If you're on the computer, go to the show more option in the description box. I have an Amazon link. It goes to my storefront. I'm going to list all the products I'm going to tell you guys about in this video and my other video. So go check it out. If you're on your phone, just hit that down arrow and then go to the Amazon link. You guys will see it. This is my new best friend right here. I love the way it leaves my hair feeling nice and conditioned, nice and moisturized. It's not dry. It's nice, healthy, shiny. And then you guys got to have the wood comb. Once you get a nice beard like this, you got to have that wood comb to go with it. It just looks nice when you're combing out in public. And they say, oh, you got a wood comb. Yeah, you know, no big deal. I just got a wood comb here. No biggie. And do not forget to get the beard wash. I use this thing in the shower. It smells delicious. It leaves my hair nice and fresh. I, I don't even know what I was doing without using this because once you start using something like this, you want to use it every single day to have that nice, healthy looking beard. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me that like, subscribe. If you want to see how to cover up that beard with hair fiber, click on this video right here. If you want to see how to apply it to your head, click on this right here. And I will see you guys in the next video.